Hello, I'm Stefan Heinchens from Mutter Europe. I'm responsible for product management and today I will present to you a new printer series, the Mark II LED UV printers. The first one is the ValueJet 1638UR Mark II series. The UR is a roll-to-roll -roll LED UV printer. And the second one is the 1638UH Mark II printer. UH is a hybrid printer handling both roll as well as rigid substrates. LED UV technology can be a very nice addition to what you probably are already producing, for example with a solvent printer, because it gives you access to a much broader range of media. For example, all the types of non-white substrates, like for example colored raw media, black media, fluo papers, metallic films or mirror films. The possibilities are really endless and they can give you a comfortable overlap with your other production capacity so that you can spread your work over different engines. Next to the wide media choice, LED UV technology offers you also other important advantages which are more technology related. For example, LED UV ink dries immediately. There is no need for an outgassing time, which means a second stage treatment, like for example cutting or application, can happen immediately without delay. LED UV lamps also produce far less heat than classic UV lamps, which means both printers remain compatible with heat sensitive media, like for example PVC free polyolefin films. Our LED lamps also do not contain any heavy metals like mercury or lead. And they also don't produce ozone during the curing process. In addition, our UV inks also do not contain any volatile organic substances, the VOCs as you know. They are not released in the printing room, but also not after application. That is why our US 11 flexible inks have obtained the Green Guard Gold Certificate. This certificate is specifically interesting for people who want to do interior decoration applications. You feel the possibilities are really endless. In-store promotional prints, deco graphics, pop and retail graphics, floor and window prints, customized wall decor prints, sign blanks, exhibition graphics, fine art prints and more. Let's have a look at the possible ink combinations. Both machines can take either a set of 2 times CMYK or you can go to a set with varnish and white. That is of course the choice that gives you the option to do a more luxurious output or a specialty finish, multi-layer printing and printing on non-white media. The cassettes are 220 milliliters, the pouches are 800 milliliters for the colors and the varnish or 500 for the white. They are used in these adapters that are reusable and the ink is covered with a plastic cover to avoid that the ink is being cured. For the white ink, both printers are equipped with a circulation mechanism which is automatic and which will prevent sedimentation of the white. The inks exist in two types. There is the UH21 ink, which is a rigid ink, and the US11, which is a flexible and stretchable ink. The US11 has obtained the Green Guard Gold, as I explained earlier, but it also has the toy certificate, which means if you're in toy printing, this ink has none of the forbidden substances. Okay, now let's have a look where the machines differ. The UR machine takes only raw media. The raw media can be up to 1625 millimeter wide 
a maximum diameter of 15 centimeters and a maximum weight of 30 kilograms. On the front side, you can have different winders. There is a winder 30 kilogram for people needing a winder, but not necessarily handling full rolls. When you handle full rolls, as UV ink does not evaporate, the roll becomes heavier on the front side, and in that case, you need preferably the 40 kilogram winder. Top of the list is the 100 kilogram winder, which can take thicker rolls on front and on the back, 100 kilogram in weight and 25 centimeters in diameter. Then we go to the hybrid printer. Roll capacity is exactly the same as for the UR. When handling rigid media, the maximum size is also 16-25 millimeters, a maximum thickness of 15 millimeters and a maximum weight of 15 kilograms. The thickness is measured automatically, which means that all the adjustments needed for that are also going automatically. You see support tables. There is one on the front and one on the back. Support tables can be easily removed and they have these adjustment arms to support and help you transport the media. And in case you want to use flexible media, extra arms are available to add onto your configuration. To help you load rigid media, it's possible to mount this media alignment tool. It has positioning fins and you can nicely position your media against the fins. Last but not least, both Mark II series printers will come with Muto's proprietary RIP software Vertilit. It's an advanced six-channel RIP software supporting multi-layer printing with white and varnish. The Vertilit software is built around the Harlequin host renderer, ensuring fast reprocessing times for both PDF and PostScript files, as well as perfect handling of transparencies and spot colors. To avoid waste, the software includes powerful preview functionality, supporting soft-proofing and on-screen RIP previewing of the actual printed dots before printing. By integrating halftone screening, specifically developed for inkjet, Mutovert with clear tone will produce the best possible gradients and skin tones. To complete your starter software toolbox, Vertlit can also auto-generate white and or varnish layers based on a selection of presets, and it allows you to perform ink cost calculation prior to printing. Your output can be perfectly prepared for the next step in your production process via the finishing toolset, allowing you to perform flexible tiling and put crop marks or grommets. Another nifty feature is the full automatic jig layout feature to support printing onto mega jigs to easily produce, for example, sign blanks. And if you have an already existing RIP workflow, Vertilit can be installed as a pass-through engine, keeping intact your existing workflow and adding extra functionality on top of it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out more of our cool stuff on muto.eu as well as on our YouTube channel.